Hi, I'm Michael Bovey with Consumer Recovery Network. Thanks for tuning in to Debt Bites, our YouTube channel. And today I'm going to talk about negotiating, settling, resolving debt with U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is in the top 10 largest banks in the U.S. And their practices are really similar, like most national banks, when it comes to resolving debt with you, credit card debt more specifically. When you're unable to make your minimum payments to U.S. Bank and if all you need is maybe some kind of temporary reprieve where they'll reduce your uh, monthly payments, like chop down the interest rate, even down to zero in some cases, uh, tempor temporarily or long term, those are options. Uh, if you need something temporary, they're generally, or even long term, when you call them yourself and try and work these things out, they're typically not going to be all that receptive unless you've already exhibited some ability, or excuse me, you've already exhibited some inability to pay, so that means that you've missed a payment. Maybe not 30 days late, and it's not even showing on your credit report yet, because you're not 30 days late, but if you're a week late, or even days late. Sometimes having an um, honest discussion with them about your financial situation can result in six, 12 months worth of a reduced payment. You can typically only expect to have them do this once in a few years, and in some cases once in the lifetime uh, of your account. Now, if you need something more long-term than just a temporary reprieve, I traditionally am going to encourage you to work with a credit counseling agency, somebody who's going to take a much more holistic approach to all of your credit card debt. If all you have is U.S. Bank debt, fine, call them yourself. But if you have more than that, I would encourage you to call our hotline, actually, the toll-free number on the screen, and hit one. You'll hear my voice. Hit one. That'll connect you to a national nonprofit agency that works in your state that can help you, you know, establish a whether or not an affordable plan is available. Now, what about when you can't even do that, right? And that is a narrow box. Credit counseling or consolidation is something that is, you can either afford it or you can't, right? Your income is either stable or it's not. Um, your situation either suggests you can commit to that long term or it's just not stable. So you can start looking at what are US banks policies and procedures to negotiate a reduction in your overall balance. That's typically, like other banks that we cover here on our YouTube channel, not going to be an option until you're six months or close to six months late, or at least it's not going to be optimized for the best savings. So what happens, like with any other bank, is, is that you become a statistic when you stop paying. When you're 30, 60, 90 days late, your creditor, U.S. Bank in this case, is going to look at you in one way. As you cross over that 90-day late period, your creditor is going to look at you a different way. You're even more of a statistic, and their turnaround options are going to start to resemble, oh, okay, how do we lose the least on this account? And that means that they're more open to negotiating a balance reduction. I encourage you to try and come up with a plan to resolve a debt through settlement with U.S. Bank by giving them one payment. In other words, let's say you owe $8,000, and you can negotiate that down to $3,000, Try and make it in a single lump sum payment. There's a whole bunch of reasons for it, but the main reason I favor one lump sum payment over multiple payments for the settlement is that although U.S. Bank will extend it over three months, that three thousand, pay one thousand now, one thousand next month, one thousand the following month, is that life happens. So for you to be even on our YouTube channel and watching this video, life has happened to you. For you to have an interest in this topic, so. Why is that going to change in the next couple of months? I don't like it, and I've seen this enough to make me raise this caution. That you engage in a settlement payment, and you make the first or second payment, but you don't make the following payment, and suddenly now the deal's off, right? Because you didn't follow through with what was agreed to. So you wasted the first, second, or however many payments towards a solution that didn't actually solve your debt. So lump sum, if you can swing it, try to. If you can get U.S. Bank pre-charge off before you're six months late to agree to three-month payment terms, they do do that. And then after you're six months late, you're typically going to be negotiating a settlement with a debt collection agency. They do sell debt to debt buyers, U.S. Bank does, so you might end up having to work with a debt buyer. And those kind of payment arrangements can be longer in some cases, longer than, say, three months. But here again, those same cautions apply. So. Is U.S. Bank negotiable? Absolutely, but you have to be late enough, which means your credit is you know, impaired, but it is what it is. I mean, if you're on this video and you're thinking about settlement, it's not because you have the luxury of being overly concerned 
about your credit score. Uh, in fact, the damage may already be done. If you're working with a collection agency already, you're already hearing from one, then you can find usually uh, a video or some content on our website about that. So do a search on our channel here for the debt collector name uh, or debt buyer, if that's the case. The same thing would apply on the CRN website, consumerrecoverynetwork.com. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next video.